who's gonna be a birthday boy Tuesdays. On a Sunday. On a Sunday where it can be closed, but the restaurants will be open. Do you wanna go for a meal? Yeah, maybe. If not, I bet you would love me to cook him some chips. Yeah, I reckon that could be on the menu. Yeah. So, we're at our next park up and Kevin's left me and has gone to Spain. <laughs> He's on the bridge. It says this, Spanka. So there we are. So you would have been able to get down the steps there, but um, they're broken. Oh. This train track is no longer in use and the station house is now a house and we're still in Portugal at the moment but as soon as we get to that sign it is Espanol. Is he going to go to Spain before me? I was saying to him about jumping off the bridge into the water, but he thinks it's too, too far. He's forbidden me. I'm too scared, really. So I'm just having a mooch. I think though we're going to have to go on that bridge. I think we've heard golden orioles. I'm not too sure. That's another park up down there, so we're going to have a look at that later. And also, the fuel is 20 to 30 cents cheaper. We can save ourselves up to 15 euros if we fill up in Spain. There we are, España. I'm still in Portugal, still in Portugal, still in Portugal. Half and half, half and half people. <laughs> Yeah, had to be done. And um, Portugal. You're in Spain. Yeah, and I'm showing the sign is Portugal. So, yeah. We just thought it was a pedestrian bridge, didn't we, Kev? Oh, yeah, we thought it was a pedestrian bridge at first. We couldn't work it out because it was too good, good quality for, for just a, for a pedestrian football, footbridge. And we, we, did, we did think that it might have been a railway bridge, but there was no obvious signs of... I mean, clearly it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> That's a tunnel. The man said it was a tunnel. Oh, okay. Right. I was very good. Hold the camera a minute. I was saying, I really had to say, is it a tunnel? But I said, like that. <laughs> Instead. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case, like, you know, you got the wrong idea. But yeah. I was quite impressed because with a lot of gesturing and like the odd word, I kind of got what he was saying to me. So it was safe to go over here. The restaurant's very good but he doesn't think it's open just yet and he asked us if we were going to stay here tonight i said yeah and he said it'd be very quiet it's very safe you'll be okay i understand that so that was good so yeah so we're back in spain hola spain again we found this on park for night we will put the what three words in that's a swift or well I can't see in this. I think it was a swift. Anyone like prickly pears? Prickly pear jam is absolutely banging. I've only found it actually in the Canaries. But if we go to Spain tomorrow, I might see if we can get some prickly pear jam because it's nice, it's got kind of like a vanilla kind of flavour to it as well. Do we go in the tunnel? It says actually we mustn't. We're just going to have a quick look. Can you get out down there, Kev? Uh, yeah, you can. Well, not down there. Well, yeah, you can probably get out down there, but you can also get out down there. Oh, can you? Yeah. Let's just have a quick look. Prohibited to pass. You've got to have a look, ain't you? As you can see, it's not used anymore. This was the UK, all this had been nicked for scrap. Oh, 
proper dark. God, you can really feel how cold the cold air coming through there. Hello! Well, there's absolutely no trace of light. So I don't know how far that goes back. Well, look, there's prickly pears on the floor for any of you that's not seen them so they're just like ow what about pear? <laughs> <laughs> you bastard thing so I'll just show you on the inside I've got lots of seeds that's what they're like inside and that one I didn't think it would but a prick ow <laughs> Does this mean we're illegal immigrants because we've crossed the border yet again without our passports, Kev? Yeah, I know. It's crazy, isn't it? Uh, are we illegal? Well, technically, yeah, I suppose so. I don't know. It's free movement of people. Yeah. So. For the moment. Mm. Mm. So we've crossed the railway bridge and there's this little place there. That's where I've got my pickled. I thought it was just one or two prickles. I've taken about half a dozen out and I've got about two more left and I can't get them. But thankfully I've got some tweezers indoors in the van. Good morning folks. So we're off to get some petrol. Or oh, diesel. Diesel, diesel. Um, and we've done the maths. Now according to Google and that. It's about 21 kilometres to the petrol station and we need turn right onto close 517. We're gonna we're gonna need quite a bit of petrol because with diesel because we're almost out of diesel. So we've done the maps and because we can drive into Spain and buy it for 20 cents or less or so 20 cents or less. 20 cents less or so a litre. Continue on close 517. But clearly, you have to justify the distances as well. So, we've done the maps and yeah, we should be quitting with a bit of luck. Provided we can get sort of 55, 60 litres in, we should make a tenner on the deal, which isn't too bad. So, just down there is the train track from where we were walking the other day. It's the other side of the tunnel. That's a better show. Sure. How about this? Got sunset going on. See if we can get the drone up. I know we're in the middle of a park, in the middle of a town, or on the outskirts of a town, but we should get something. It's just where we parked. This is the sports stadium. Come round. Apart. Just there. That's our way. Uh, the tree's got some really cool time little colours on them. So we can get some pictures of them as well. And uh, let's see what the drone can pick up.
you saw my ep epic fail about 10 days ago now, about. So I'm gonna give it another try. Take two. Slightly different, a bit steeper. And I think I'm gonna go back. Yeah. One. I can't. I'm gonna practice. So yeah, it's a good slide though. <laughs> oh my god. Respect to those people who've got apps that can do that. Jesus. seen that action for a while. Do it again. <laughs> so that's our exercise for the day. Time for coffee and cream cake. Cream cake? Take my pen. Yeah. <laughs> well, has only gone found herself a fixer up a castle. Okay, I need to do some repairs to the wall and there's a bit of a moors looking thing which I can put the bow and arrows at but it stinks of poo poo and we are naming it Willow A. Castor Kevin's. What do you think guys? So we are walking on the top of it. Anybody down there gives me any jip? I smite them with my sword. What do you think? Bit of an industrial area over there. And what's handy about it is Aldi is only about a two minute walk. Bit of windsurfing going on over there. So we are at a caravan park simply because we thought we'd have a mooch, see what one's like in Portugal. And it is literally just a parking area for motorhomes with electric and what have you. So with electric to stay overnight, with water obviously and all the rest of it, and internet, nine euros. Because we just wanted to have a look at the batteries on our, it's the Studer Sergeant system to see if we can just like restart it. But yeah, hello. Hello. So we are in Portugal still. It is the 20 something of June, 23rd? 22nd, 22nd of October. Yeah. Oh yeah. Not June, October. <laughs> it's the 22nd of October. We know the weather's, that, we know the weather's good, but it's, it's not quite that good. <laughs> I think in my head, I was thinking to myself, the weather's as good as a June day in, in the UK. So we are on the most westerly point. Yeah, the most westerly point in Europe. So, Peniche. Yeah. Peniche. 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 Nishi. You have to have the E, yeah, because I wasn't going to put the E, but the sat -nav, sat nav said the E, and when we went into the reception, she said, oh, welcome to say, in English, Panishi. So I think there's one that we're going to remember, thanks to the sat nav, because it's easy as well, isn't yeah, it? it is, yeah. Other the rest of them is like, mmm. okay. So yeah, we're going to have a mooch round and see what's what. It's windy here, so... As you might expect, it's been point in the western part of Europe, with 5,000 miles of Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, but apparently with some binoculars, good binoculars, you can see the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> <laughs> That's what somebody had put up. Obviously, it was very tongue in cheek. Um, yeah, so I should imagine the wind is really appreciated on a July, August day, do you not think? It's not too bad actually today. It's not cold. Kevin's got his fleece on, but um, I I'm not cold. But yeah, let's go and explore. Eh? And there it is, the furthest point. But I'm sorry, I'm, I'm gonna say it. That out there, that island, that's further. <laughs> 
wonder if it's in the Schengen zone. You know, I like a bit of sea spray. Watch this, guys. Ooh. Well, the sun's going to go down over there, isn't it? Know where to look, there's just so much to look at. Whoa, look at those So about an hour the way we drove up the coast is Nazir where they have the biggest waves in the world and we was looking and thinking they ain't that big but we googled it and obviously certain times of the year certain storms la -de -da -de -da. so there's an unofficial record the guys submitted it and the Guinness Book of Records I just needed to look at it it's obviously a COVID thing they're taking their sweet time a hundred foot wave who knew? I didn't know that. Did you know that? I didn't know that. No. So that's amazing. But it's awfully windy. And probably yesterday we come across the wind. We went over these mountains. We went up and down them. I don't know which ones they were. But from the other side, it started to get windy, didn't it? Yeah. So yeah, we don't like the wind. We don't mind rain. We don't mind snow. We don't mind frost. But wind? No. Not a fan. But anyway, I thought I'd give you that bit of information before we almost get to the the furthest part. I just I think it's that bit there. Yeah. yeah. So Kevin went to the furthest north, which you probably saw in a vlog a few vlogs back. And um I was a bit unwell that day. But we're heading to the furthest west. With the sun behind us. Yeah, so that's the, the furthest west. And the sun's all the way over there. And what's the time? Nearly six o'clock. So I don't think in the next hour and a half that sun's going to get all the way over there. So make of that what you will. Jesus. Look at Kevin. His hair's all blown 
Bruno. <laughs> The fur is west. The fur is west. The fur is west. Da, 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 da. Kevin, you're more west than me, dude. Oh my god, I put my earring and come out. Can we get even wester? Is that even a word? Only we, only we couple with south. We can see I'm holding it with two hands how much it is windy. I thought it that bit's more west, isn't it? Anywho. It's more westerly. Well, yeah, but yeah. It's windy. Not as bad as the Gibraltar Straits. That was like pulling my hair out windy. But yeah. Oh look. So Kevin being Kevin, because he does like to know this stuff. Westerly point is actually that island over there. That is actually magnetic west. So, yeah, just having a look when we went round. Yeah, we are. We are further out than them. Only just. Yes. So, we hope you enjoyed coming to Pensina with us. Pensini. Pensini. Sorry, Pensini. this up guys so this area here as you can see by the mural um the ladies in their washing and if you look in here a caution area it's locked So, give me a washing machine over a TV any day. Give me the tumble dryer over a dishwasher. Oh yeah. That looks like Ross's face. Oh, Phil Collins a little bit. Yeah, definitely Phil Collins. Look, Phil Collins. Yeah. <laughs> Big bridges, cable cars, metro, metro trams, trams, old trams, old trams, cute trams, bendy buses. No. Yeah. Yeah, bendy buses. buses. Yeah, it's all bendy buses.